Hello there folks and welcome to Power Playground. This is your host Michael and today we're going to be talking about the uh, fan duct for my new 3D printer or 3D printers that I've designed and this is a brand new revision here. In the latest revision I increased the airflow from the intake of this fan duct to the exhaust so there was a bit of a restriction along this side from the opening to the actual slits in here. The passageway going or going from this tiny or this lower profile area going to this higher profile area was very very small. Now in the first one it was very hard for air to pass through to get to these slits so I had to go ahead and open it up. Now I'm going to be jumping into CAD a little bit later to explain that but first I'm going to go ahead and put this on the printer. Okay. Oh, Sorry about the wobble cam here but as you can see you got a little tissue. Now it doesn't output a bunch of air but as you can notice if I get once I get closer to it you can definitely see a bit of movement here I can definitely tell yeah definitely definitely a bit of movement enough air to cool down the part now of course with this particular fan duct we do not want to create too much airflow just because we do not want to cool down the part too quickly as well as we do not want to cool down the nozzle and lower the nozzle temperature so definitely a lot of things to consider when designing a fan duct now i'm going to go ahead and jump on over to fusion 360 to show the cutaways and the design of this particular fan duct all right folks so we're in fusion 360 now and this is the old design of the fan duct. Pretty much this is the, I would guess, the second iteration. Initially it looked, it was a bit different. The actual orientation was totally off to where this was hitting the actual uh, hot end bit there. So definitely not a wise design choice. But I flipped it around. Uh, originally it was like, a, I think it was a little over half circle there. But, or Maybe it was like a three quarter circle. I can't remember exactly the dimensions on it, but it just wasn't really an effective thing. Plus these fins were really close to the intake. So we have two little screw holes, the intake and just kind of flows into these little fins here. So one side probably would have been more, had a lot more airflow than the other side. It just wouldn't be unequal. So what we'll need to do here now is I'm going to go ahead and go to inspect here and then I'm going to go ahead and go to section analysis. So we're going to click the plane. I'm going to click this plane up here and I'm just going to show you the old design. So as you can see the fins taper off into this smaller area and then it goes to this very tiny little uh, duct section here which just slivers off. To the actual main input and that was the reason why the original or the the second revision design was not cutting it for airflow was this major restriction here so essentially what was happening is air was rushing through this large area which is basically going through there's like a pipe area let's go ahead and uh actually go ahead and toggle a few things real quick so here's the mount and then we'll go ahead and toggle the fan. So the fan would flow down this section here. So it just goes down, it's mounted in these two little holes. And then of course, it would just connect up, two screws would connect up to this area here. So let's remove the fan duct. As you can see, just pretty much an exact match. It, I don't have a whole lot of leakage. There is a lot of leakage up at the top here, but I just need to fix that with future design, but that'll come a ways away. Not a huge deal right now because I can just tape over it and with some aluminum tape and that seems to fix things. So let's go ahead and go. So now that you've seen the old design that I had and the very tiny little passageway for air to go through, which was restricting it way too much, was pretty much made it to where next to no air was going through these little fins. So I'll go ahead and pop over to the latest version of this model. And we're gonna go ahead and go back to inspect and then section analysis. Now this is a great little cross-sectioning thing as you can see. Now, as you can tell with the new design, it doesn't taper off at the bottom of these fins. It just goes straight down. And then we have this large wide opening which tapers off just slightly. And it just a lot more of a subtle taper instead of just right there. So of course, we'll go ahead and uh, 
compare the two here, as you can see a much a major difference in terms of the taper there. This is a major restriction, just that tiny little section where it tapers off to the small little sliver, which is not utilizing this area effectively. So of course now we have a much more effective taper going on. And we'll go ahead and go back. Need to open them back our section analysis. So this is just a lot better of a design. So obviously we don't want a lot of restriction when we're designing a fan duct. The other thing, of course, we do have a bit of a taper up at the top. That's just to make it make printing these things easier. Because whenever you have passageways like this, you do not want to use supports because unless if it's like a water soluble PVA type support, which doesn't work with ABS. Uh, obviously, since this fan duct is right next to the hot end, we don't want to use PLA, which you could use with PVA, but the PLA fan duct would melt easily when it's right next to that hot end. I think there's like a, it's a pretty small distance here. If we go ahead and open up our bodies and we go to, let's see here, the arrow design. Now, obviously this is actually flipped around where this large end is back here that is how I got mixed up just because I haven't I didn't really assemble everything until I had everything printed out in the first initial design you know after I've designed it obviously so as you can see it's very very close if I can go ahead and pop open the cells. okay so if we go into the sketch obviously there's not a whole lot of distance right here we can measure this line yeah just like 12 to 10 millimeter of a gap so about a centimeter gap between the actual hot end area well actually it's a little bit more I'd say probably closer to 15 no oh, well it's about 14 to 12 cent or millimeters away from the actual hot end block itself. So not a whole lot of room. Obviously we don't want to print with PLA. ABS is the best material for any sort of plastics that will get close to the hot end. So all of the hot end assembly is going to be is printed in ABS just because we do not want that thing melting. All right, folks. So that is going to be it for this video here i hope you liked it and just a good introspection of how i design the hot end fan duct if you have any questions leave them in the comments of course like the video if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it and uh, subscribe and all that good jazz and have a great day